I have been having problems with the take-up reel stopping on my Roverine Reels to Digital Movie Maker for converting 8 and Super 8 movies to videos. So I decided it was time to take it apart and look inside and I think I found out what may be the uh, fatal flaw in the Wolverine. It's the drive belt. Now I'm wearing vinyl gloves right now because as you can see on my finger the drive belt is in effect melting. It's very sticky and you touch it with anything and it comes off on it. I got it on my fingers. It's hard to scrub it off. So the belt turns on a wheel down in here and this is the one that turns the take up reel. In my case it's being used to turn what is the um, uh, large take up reel of my adapter to be able to handle 7 inch reels. Now, I don't think a belt should be sticky like this. If it was exposed to some sort of chemical I could see that, but just being sealed up inside of the Wolverine in, no in normal use, this thing should not be melting. My experience has been that when you see plastic or vinyl melting like this, there's nothing you can do to reverse that. So I don't know what happened here. My guess is that they used some sort of inferior material to make the belt. So here's some close-up detail of the belt drive mechanism. There's a worm gear right there that drives this shaft and there's a there's the pulley where the belt goes. It looks very dirty. Yep, it's got all the uh, belt gunk on it too. So what this means is the belt at best is going to be stuck quite frequently as it turns and that's going to slow down things or even slow them enough that it just stops altogether because this is creating I would say a huge amount of friction on the system. I am thinking about looking online to see if I can find a replacement belt for this. I haven't figured out yet what needs to be removed to get a belt on the shaft. I've inserted an SD card. I've got this hooked up to power and to my little uh, Sony video monitor. So we're going to start this up and watch what happens with the belt. So as you can see, it's clicking through nicely. I don't know if you can hear the noise that has started up. This is a fairly recent addition to the operational sounds of the Wolverine. I believe it may have to do with that sticky drive belt. If anybody has any thoughts on this, let me know. It looks like there's a lot of that black gunk on the pulley down here. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that stuff is just like tar. Can't be good. I just went and wiped this area down here. And you can see it's covered with that melted belt material. To me that makes it even more serious. If you're melting dry belt is splattering melted rubber around your system, your electromechanical system, that is going to cause problems. And in fact, I think it already has caused problems. To me, this is unsatisfactory. Now, I do have concerns about whether my apparatus for using big reels puts an added strain on the take-up reel. But honestly, Irregardless of that, if I was just using it in the standard mode, standalone, if you will, I would not want a melted belt gunking up pulleys, splattering little bits of melted rubber or whatever it is around the inside of the machine. That is a manufacturing defect, a big one.